All to play for here in Lautoka. Will it be Fiji? Will it be Manu Samoa? And down inside the 22. Up it goes. Remember the threats that Fiji pose in the back three. There's one of them. Good take with Fubu. Manu Samoa try and blow through on the counter ruck. All spits out the side and it has gone forward. Inati right on point with the first kick, giving his chasers plenty of time to get up there and put some pressure on. They can't do it, so it's there for Fiji Volavola trying to set them up through Batitu. Excellent work from the second 5'8. Oh, Mane. His players waiting, but he looks at the short side here, the halfback. So good on his feet. Frank Lomane, but uh, just can't retain possession. Manu Samoa. Referee says it's fine, and they'll pick and go again here. The home side. I think they won a penalty. It's working well. In fact, I wouldn't mind if they put a scrum down. To be honest, I think their scrum is terrific. Atuni Yarawa. They go quickly. Fiji, they're over. Albert Tuesui scores it for the home side. And they hit the front in Lotoka. Oh, magic. Absolute feature and magic. You don't see many tap moves nowadays. There used to be the wall back in my time. That was 100 years ago. And now they just tap, run lateral, and give it to the big number eight running on the angle. Samoa thought they were just going to block there and look at Tui Sui just go through the middle. Poor old Inari was just looking up saying, how do I tackle this truck? Ball's turned over. Ala Ala Toa fires it away. Goal for it. Spat out the back from Lee. But it's loose, it's untidy, and here's the chase. And the referee's whistle has gone. Just as Rainiangolo's eyes lit up, had plenty of space in front, and no Manu Samoa defenders. That's interesting, because that should have been play on. Down at the back for Manu Samoa. Another to set it. Good tag bite for its lead. Here they go. Oh, money. Tell to leave it. They'll set it again here. Pick and go is the option. Noah. He's a couple of metres out. Enari. Players waiting. Good pressure here from Manu Samoa. Oh, ball just goes down cold. And it's a chance for Fiji off turnover ball. Hambosi, they spread it. It's brilliant. Oh, no. We'll come back just as the fans got to their feet. Nice stable set piece for Fiji marching forward. Jordan Way's arm comes out. Now they can chance the arm. money just slips on the turf. And Lotoka. Boy, he is a classy halfback of Frank Lomani in his 22nd test. Gets an extra 15 metres for his trouble. And now Ben Volavola will get them out of their red zone. They'll be happy to cart this forward all day. Starts to break down, but Matavesi has it. Spits out Lomani. Volavola stabs it along the deck. But Titu chasing. It's loose from Tawala. Play on is the call. Fiji oh, and Bossi. Oh, he knows it too. He's hard to stop, 70 metres away from the line. He's almost impossible to stop, 15 out. Some more aren't out of it yet, though. Fiji will put all sorts of pressure on this scrum, guaranteed. Keep an eye on Ben Volavola and Kanea Hambossi. Just lurking, just lurking in behind this set piece. The scrum has been excellent in the opening 29 minutes. Continues to be the case. Lomani. Lomani. Still Lomani. Fiji again. Fiji gold from the little general wearing jersey number nine. He is a magician.
He's Fijian's version of Harry Potter because he can just weave his magic. He knew it. He had the penalty again. So he steps not once, but twice off the right. And there is no Samoan defence to stop the flying Fijian. He's in for their second. And boy, is this crowd erupted. Tuni Aroa makes the tackle, but Manu Samoa keep coming forward. Ball offloaded. This is more like it from Manu Samoa. Leo Ilip. Oh, referee's whistle goes again. So, you know, looking good. And Faze on that occasion, five out from half time. And that's where they are at their best. Beautiful Samoa reopening in August. But boy, they're here to play. And they just need to just have a little bit more concentration. It's those little things that can cost you in test matches. Samoa just out from the break. But again, look at that weight playing for the penalty. Way's arm surely will come out. Yes, it does. They won't get the advantage. But they will have a chance to add three more to make it a two converted try lead for Fiji. No mistake. And they just continue to build pressure. And this is the right option. Early in the second half, you go for big points. No point taking three there when you're down by 14. There it goes, and they've won it. McFarlane. Alalatoa gets it back. Here they go, Manu Samoa, and it's Lam who scores it. That's the start they wanted. And they're back in the contest in Lotoka. Well, they rolled the dice. They're playing roulette at the wheel at the moment. Red or black. Get the penalty, kick to the corner, work your line out. Three tries last week from a similar style. It seems to be the Samoan way. It's just roll up the sleeves when you're in close and then let the hooker go to work. Look at him. Broke off, knew that he wasn't going to be stopped that close to the line. Oh, very good hands from Danny Tuala. But the referee's whistle goes. Push and shove off the ball here. On the top in Fiji, but I think Jordan Way will just try and let this cool down. I like the way that the big fella Solo in his 50th is just standing there. He's probably the biggest guy that could come up and he wanted to throw his weight around, but he's just standing there enjoying this choke, getting his breath back. His wish. And there's the try scorer to his suit. Puts the head down, stopped by a blue wall as one of the best fetches over the years. Jordan Tolfor goes hunting. It's still there for the Fijians. Ball loose, Vola Vola cleans up. Nayatha Lever, it's left behind. And in fact, it's been lost forward. Good urgency from Samoa, and they forced the mistake. Take a bow, Manu Samoa, that's not easy. They had their heads down for a little while there. Half the scrum got annihilated, and all of a sudden they decided to do what they do best and punch back through defence. Wonderful defensive effort, in particular Taufua. And now, D'Angelo Luila just sends a big kick downfield. That's fantastic, just outside the 22. And really turning Fiji around just when they needed it. Oh, that's a beauty. That is exactly what they ordered. And then all of a sudden, some belief, and you can see it in the body language of the Samoan players. They know they're still in this game. Trying to get them home over Fiji here. Short line out. Doesn't work out for Fiji. Tomatene. Now Lamb. Full of running. The tackle made. Now Silla Silla. Iona. Freeze it up, Noah. Oh, just can't hold on. Had plenty of space in front of big man, too. That part of the field would have been hard to stop, Willie. I wouldn't have stopped him. I would have given him the green light for sure. Nomatene, ball goes backwards again. Ball has been turned over. Here comes Fiji and their captain, Nayatha Levu. Free it up, Botitu. And now will come back again. Pacific Island rugby is in very good hands. This time at scrum time, and look at it, what it means to Jonathan Tomatene. They win a scrum penalty for Rodney Iona. He's got the range, he's got the distance, he's got the three points. Big penalty for Manu Samoa. And 17 to go in Lotoka, they close it up to a try. That's the 10 metre line inside Manu Samoa's territory. There's the mistake from Seta to Manivalu. And here they come now. Oh, just goes into touch. The Angelo Luila. One of 
the biggest scrums of the game, and they win a penalty again. That's two in a row from this set piece. Wow, that's a big call in my view. That should have just been reset. That is a massive call. Samoa gets some easy meters. There's the take they needed. Vui. And now Manu Samoa crash forward. Visinia. Domatene. Oh, it just goes down as they were building some brilliant momentum. But offside. The call against Fiji here. They've got Fiji under the pump and they're asking questions. And so now their line out's been efficient. They've been able to score a try from it. Why not go back to it? And that's what Chris Burry will be saying to the team there. He's the leader of the line outs and he's just telling them, fellas, one thing at a time, nothing further than what we need to do in this line outs. Vui calls it, but McFarlane gets it. They lock it in. His brother's not playing today, but Salala Lamb would like to. He'd love to. He gets two. Absolutely brilliant brace. Salala Lamb, and here come Manu Samoa. Well, for the young boys and girls sitting at home watching this test match, if you dream big, you can achieve, and that's what Samoa had to do in the second half. They were belted in the first at 17-3. They went to the shed. They asked some questions of each other. And they have come on and put on a performance that every Pacific Islander would be proud of. They've got Fiji under the pump who are starting to ask questions. They haven't touched the ball for a while. And they've brought on some new replacements who just had energy and drive. And that is what it means to Manu Samoa. What a turnaround from Samoa. 20 points to three in the second half. Now look at the Australians. Uh, I'm sure there were plenty of smiles in the last 69, 70 minutes, but now the mood has changed in the Australia A camp because Manu Samoa have roared back into this. Manu Samoa, slow it down, keep it patient. Jonathan Domatene sends this one high. Players coming through too, good chase. Here for Mai. A push towards the far touch, excellent work. Samoa's defence on Tui Sova. That adrenaline, that urgency off the second try to Lamb is flowing through Manu Samoa's veins. How beautiful is our game? Matawalu, players waiting away to the right. Vola Vola tries to free them up. There it is to Mani Valu. Oh, got it away to his captain who just puts it down. Yeah, they are out on their feet, the Samoan players. Some of them are just hanging on for that final whistle. Ten phases from the Fijians. Gets it back, Iona. Very high kick floating towards the 10 metre line. Chase is coming. It's gone forward off Fiji. And they win a penalty as well, in fact. He was offside. I'm bossy. I tell you what, if Samoa win this championship, take a bow. And the crowd start to find their voice in Lotoka. Nice touch by it. Ben Volavola. What have Manu Samoa got on defence? 90 seconds remain. The crowd in Lotoka on their feet. Fiji can't win. The Pacific Nations Cup. But they can help deny Manu Samoa. And help give it to Australia. Fiji, Matawalu, Manu Samoa's defence will be key here. Matawalu looking for his low numbers again. Fiji have another advantage. Matawalu, now they'll come back, another penalty. Tui Loma's offside. Boy, why not go for the draw? Nah, this is the Pacific Islands, what are you talking about? How long have we got, Ben Bola Bola asks? He says, have a look at the clock, it's just over there. We see 79 minutes, 37 seconds. They're going to go for the line-out. 
Tui Loma. I've got to be careful here, Samoa. Pressure moments. Will they try and contest here, Manu Samoa? Or will the mistake come from Fiji? Crowd on their feet. Over the back it goes. Manu Samoa have it. Ball has gone to ground. Jonathan Tomatene asks the question. Sends it back. They bang it into touch. Manu Samoa. Champions of the Pacific once more. Pacific Nations Cup, they've beaten Fiji and Lotoka 23 points to 20.